Hi, greetings from Kyushu Island, Japan. I'm making this video today because I went shopping yesterday. Um, I'm going to the UK in about a week's time, so I wanted to get a souvenir for my brother. So I bought this, which is, <laughs> that's a box, but if I open it, you can see this inside. This is in Japanese, it's called a chazutsu and in English we call it a tea caddy a place for storing your tea leaves and like many nice souvenirs in Japan there's a bit of a story most of this the guy in the shop told me yesterday some of I got from my father-in-law so I wanted to share it with you so they've been making this product for 400 years now actually in Japan you, you will find quite a few handicrafts that have been made for many hundreds of years but a lot of them died out they stopped making them but this has been continuously produced for 400 years and it's only produced in one village in the whole world there's only one village that makes these tea caddies out of sakura tree cherry cherry tree wood and it's not here on Kyushu actually, it's the next island and the name escapes me actually. So I'll, I'll write a comment in the, in, um, below about where it's actually, where it's made. But there's only one village, so if you buy one of these, it's made in that village. And in that village, there's only five families that make these. The reason I like it is such a quality product. Look, if you can see here, the one I let it go, slowly you see that it slowly slides down it's so well made that it just ooh, it just goes down and when I take the top off you can also see it fits so smugly even though it's it's handmade it fits so nice now originally these were made obviously for storing tea and it's in Japan it gets very cold in winter it gets very hot in summer so one of the reasons they use this wood is that it keeps the, um, the correct humidity of the tea leaves inside and my father-in-law told me that another reason they use this wood cherry tree wood is that it's very resistant to water so if you spill on it when you're making your tea you shouldn't worry too much. He said that if in there when he was a kid, in the, when they used to do some kind of construction or some project near the river, they would always use cherry tree wood. So you can keep your, your not your cherry. You can keep your tea leaves fresh in this. However, the the guy in the shop did tell us. He said 400 years ago they didn't have fridges. Today we have fridges, and obviously a fridge is better for keeping your tea leaves um, fresh and cool so he, he suggested we we keep this in the fridge he also mentioned um, when you get your tea out of the packet just put about a week's worth in here um, because probably you know tea is perhaps best kept in the freezer and what a guy not the guy yesterday another guy in a tea shop has told us once when you take tea out of the freezer don't open the bag until it's reached room temperature so keep your tea in the freezer take it out let it reach room temperature put enough in here for one week's worth and then keep it in the fridge and hopefully by doing all these things you will have nice fresh green tea and the good green tea isn't cheap actually so um, we want to keep it fresh we want to keep it nice to make the very best tea we can so I hope you liked my little explanation of a cherry tree wood there you go <laughs> cherry tree wood tea caddy if you have any questions uh, leave them below if you like this video click like if you want to share it with anyone else who loves nice Japanese stuff please go ahead and do so